And speaking of hosting a show, I always get the thrill when my favorite segment of the game show comes up and there's a professional game show host on the line because that means I get to practice my skills on a true professional. And this time it's going to be you. So it's time to play the game of the day. Game of the day. So as I mentioned, we're going to play a game that I based on one of your shows, 101 Ways to Leave a Game Show. And I've appropriately titled this game, 101 Ways to Win on the Game Show. 101 Ways to Win on the Game Show. And since the game show you hosted and the game we're playing right now both have to do with the concept of having different ways to do something, Today's game background music is Paul Simon's hit, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Nice. So here's how the game works. You'll be answering four game show-inspired trivia questions. Now, each question has three correct answers and one incorrect answer. So after I read you the four answer choices and the question, your goal is to select the three correct answer choices and naturally avoid the incorrect answer. Got it. Once you pick your three answer choices, I'll reveal if they're correct or not in the order that you selected your answers. Okay. And, and for every correct answer chosen, you'll score a point. However, if you pick the wrong answer as one of your three choices, the question ends once that wrong answer is revealed. So I advise you to pick the ones that you know are correct first so that you can guarantee yourself, hopefully, more points. Got it. And after the four questions, if you've scored seven points or more, you will be deemed a winner. Nice. And I've built in what I like to call the get out of jail free card because this is called 101 ways to win on the game show. So if you do not win by the four questions, you have one final chance to win at the end. All right, I'm in. Those are all the rules. Jeff, are you ready to play? Let's do it. Let's play 101 ways to win on the game show. <laughs> Lighting effect. You could do that for millionaire. <laughs> All right, so here comes question number one. Remember, there are three correct answers, one incorrect answer. Goal is seven points. Here it comes. The four answer choices are inventions, potpourri, animals, and foreign cuisine. Inventions, potpourri, animals, and foreign cuisine. Here comes okay. the question. Which three of these categories were used during the Jeopardy round on the premiere episode of Jeopardy from September 10th, 1984. I'm gonna say animals. Okay. Foreign cuisine and inventions. All right, so animals, foreign cuisine, and inventions. So here we go, remember one point for each correct answer. Animals is a correct answer, so you have one point. Nice. One seventh of the way there. Foreign cuisine is also a correct answer. Two for two. Two for two. Can you sweep the first question? The wrong answer is potpourri, which means you are correct with inventions. Three points. <laughs> Three points. All right. I'm off to a good start. Excellent. That was a hard question too, Bradley. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, if that was hard and you scored three points, I have some good faith in you. Well, there's a little bit of luck going into that one too. By the way, animals featured the first ever answer revealed on Jeopardy. No, very good. A little Brad fact for you. Brad fact. You have three out of seven points and you still have three questions to go. Here comes question number two. The four answer choices are Hollywood Spotlight, Hollywood's Talking, Hollywood Connection, and Hollywood Showdown. That's Hollywood Spotlight, Hollywood's Talking, Hollywood Connection, Hollywood Showdown. The question is, which three of these titles featuring the word Hollywood are the names of real game shows? I'm going to go with Hollywood Connection. My second one is Hollywood Spotlight, and then Hollywood Showdown. All right, so Hollywood Connection, Hollywood Spotlight, and Hollywood Showdown are your answers. Let's see if you can make it two sweeps in a row. Let's begin with your first answer selection, Hollywood Connection. And Hollywood Connection was the name of a real game show. That is correct. It was hosted by Jim Lang. Oh, good old Jimmy. If the name sounds familiar, he also hosted The Dating Game, Bullseye, all that great stuff. 
All right, so you now have a total of four points, and we are moving on to your next answer choice that you chose, Hollywood Spotlight. And I can now reveal to you that Hollywood Spotlight is the wrong answer. Son of a gun. You totally duped me. Hollywood Talk just seems like it would be an after-hours public access talk show that's from Hollywood. That's why I didn't pick that one. It was a short-lived game show in the early 70s hosted by Jeff Edwards. And, and it was hosted by another Jeff, too. Come on. Get with the program, Sutphin. By the way, Hollywood Showdown was hosted by Todd Newton. Yeah, okay. So you need three more points, but you still have two questions. So you're in good okay. shape. And this is question number three. The four answer choices are $1,033,650. One million twenty six thousand eighty dollars. One million thirty thousand three hundred and forty dollars. One million seventeen thousand four hundred and ninety dollars. And the question Which one of these is divisible by three? <laughs> which three of these money totals were the winning amounts of Wheel of Fortune's first three and so far only three million dollar winners? I have no idea. I'll let you pick these for me, because I have no idea. <laughs> so you said the last one ended in 90. 1,017,490. I'll your... take that one. Okay. I'll go the last three. So I've given you my first one, and then the second and third answer you gave. Okay, so 1,026,080, and then 1,030,340. You got it. All righty. You need three points to get a victory. Your first answer was 1,017,490. And you're off to a good start with this question. That is a correct answer. Yes. That was the third million dollar winner total. Two more points and I'm going in a new car, <laughs> which I'm gonna trade in. <laughs> For door number two? Exactly. So now you're up to five points. 1,026,080 was your second choice. And that is also correct. That was the first million dollar winner total. Okay, let's set the stage. You have six points. One of these is wrong, one of these is correct. If you pick the correct answer, you have won this game of 101 ways to win on the game show. Your answer was 1,030,340. The wrong answer is 1,033,650, which means you're right, you have just won the game. I just want a new car and a chicken dinner. Yeah! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Love it. Oh, I can't tell you what I'm going to do with the prize money. I'm so excited. I'm going to go on a vacation to Europe, and I've always wanted to take my parents and family on a vacation, so they're going to come with me, and then I'm going to buy a new car and put a down payment on a house and pay off all my student loans. It seems like you've been around a few game shows to know what the typical responses are. <laughs> yes, at which point I generally want to say, well, after taxes, you're going to be left with $170, so you're not going to be able to do any of that. That's very true. Well, congratulations, Jeff. You have won this edition of 100 and one ways to win on the game show. I can't believe I did it. This is fantastic. I'm putting this at the top of my resume. See, you have to have faith in yourself. I told you, the role reversal worked this time. And by the way, for those of you playing at home, $1,030,340 was the total of the second million dollar winner and currently the top money winning total in Wheel of Fortune history. Well, Jeff, I hope you had fun playing the game. Bradley, I had a great time. Thanks for putting me to the test. Well, you are very welcome. And that was the game of the day. 101 ways to win on the game show. 101 ways to win on the game show.